There are so many animals on this farm, but out of the 50 plus animals, which ones are pregnant? In today's video, I'm going to tell you. Make sure to stick around till the end because there are some extra babies that we are gonna be getting in a couple days. Okay, so the first animals I'm going to talk about are the cows. I'm here with Gertie right now. She's one of our first cows and one of the best mamas. She is a Scottish Highland cow and she is pregnant with a baby right now. Gertie always has the sweetest babies. I don't know if you can see them, but this guy back here is her baby from last year and he is so adorable. I'm working on training him right now, but she is pregnant with our last bull. His name is Fergus. He is a lot bigger than her. She's a mini and he's a regular highland. So usually we need to assist in her births. A lot of the time we need to pull her calf. But because we have this new bull, we won't need to deal with that anymore after this year. So because we usually need to pull her calf, we're definitely going to have to be there for the birth. And I'm going to do my best to record videos of all of the animals' births this spring. So stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly when Gertie is due next, but it will be sometime this spring. But I know Gertie's just gonna have another super cute baby this year and I can't wait to meet it. We're hoping it's a girl. Bonnie, what are you doing? There you go, some Bonnie kisses. Next up, this is Bonnie. She is also incredibly sweet. She is a Jersey. She's, I think, three years old now and she's pregnant with her first calf, which is so exciting because she is so sweet and so calm. We just know her baby is gonna be adorable. And we already picked a name if it's a girl. We really like the name Sunny. Hi. That's her way of showing affection. Headbutting. Uh-oh, here comes the bull. That's not good. She is also bred by Fergus, our last Highland bull. Okay, sorry, we keep moving here. She's gotta scratch her head on this now. So her baby's gonna be half Highland, half Jersey, which I know is gonna be really adorable. And we also think she's gonna give birth pretty quickly because dad already noticed that her ligaments are loosening up and that she's starting to bag up already. So we're thinking in the next month, she is probably gonna give birth to her calf because she is a first time mom. Again, I wanna be there when she gives birth. And I think that would be the best situation. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up is Rosie. She is a cow right behind me. She's a little skittish, so she probably won't get too close for this. She is half Jersey, half Angus, and the dad that she is bred to is Fergus. So her baby is probably gonna be pretty cute. Her last baby that she had is over here and it's the same mix. So yeah, we're really excited to meet her baby. Again, we're hoping for a girl. We love it when we get girls. What is Gertie doing? Is your leg itchy? <laughs> what was that? Rosie has... Now she's peeing. Gertie. Uh, and here is the bull. No, thank you. This is chaos already. So even though Rosie is pretty shy, she's also very trusting and sweet. She is really good with me being around her calves, but she's also very good at giving birth on her own. So I want to be there for her birth, but I'm probably just going to stay back. The bull is right there and I do not want to be sitting down when he's right next to me. Okay, so those are all the cows that are pregnant. Now we're moving on. I'm going to let America out quick to play for a little bit. Go out. You're so fat. Oh, it's your friends. Oh. Oh, there she goes. I let her out quite a bit and I never let her out unless I'm outside. I'll always put her back in before I go back inside, but she never leaves my sight. You need to stop eating the tripod, dude. No. Okay, I'm going to try and talk about the goats now. We'll see what happens because this guy is being very annoying. I have eight does, Buttercup, Tulip, Daisy, Poppy, Rose, Laura, Anna, Bella. I think that's all of them. They're all pregnant right now and they're all bred by that guy. These girls are due on April 1st, so I'm making sure I have everything prepared. I'm going to try to register these babies. I want to, but it's a lot of work. I think a couple of them are pretty huge, so I think they're gonna have three babies. 
I'm thinking Buttercup and Rose are gonna have three. All the others, I'm guessing two, might have one. I don't know. We've had it before where there's a doe that is absolutely huge. I swear there's like four and it has one ginormous baby, but I would prefer big healthy babies over a lot of small ones. So I will be doing my best to assist all of their births and record all of their births. So I am so excited for baby goats. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Hello. Oh, thanks for the mud. Guys, no, 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 no. Well, thanks to Fig the Pig. Tripod is broken now. He just broke the top part, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, well, I bet you guys did not see this coming, but we do have a girl and a boy pig, but we got both of them in hopes that she would get pregnant. We got them as tiny little piglets two years ago. We were hoping that he would get her pregnant and I've seen some activity, but we're not for sure if she's pregnant or not. If she is, it's definitely in the early stages. Watch this. <laughs> you just couldn't stand up. You are so sweet. Big is definitely the friendlier one out of the two pigs. <laughs> So every spring we always have kittens and around this time all of our females will go into heat. Twilight, she just went into heat. I know she is already bred but I don't know who she's bred to. And then we have Hermione which is her daughter. She's had kittens once which was last year so I'm excited to see how she does this year. And then Cheetah, she has not gone into heat yet. I don't know when she will. She can be very selective about her kittens and I'm thinking we're probably gonna fix her soon. Cats are also pregnant for about two months. The Twilight should have her kittens in about seven weeks. I told you guys this in some previous videos, but I also do want to try to hatch ducklings this year. We have two ducks left, a girl and a boy. Once the girl starts laying eggs, I should be able to put some in the incubator. Our ducks have never been good about nesting on the eggs their own. They just kind of lay them and leave them. So hopefully I will be able to hatch some of those babies this spring and then we'll have some baby ducks. So the animals that aren't pregnant this year are the horses and the dogs. We don't think we're having any puppies this year. We have had puppies in the past, but that was when there weren't that many livestock guardian dogs around and then everyone started breeding these dogs. And so now there's pretty much like an overpopulation of them. So we do not want to struggle with selling our babies this year. Probably going to get Moana here fixed because we don't want to have any accidents happening and we don't plan on breeding her ever again. She's had three or four litters of puppies and each time she did great, but the more she did it, the more it affected her afterwards. Okay, I told you guys to wait to hear what new baby animals we're getting, so here's the announcement. In a couple of days, we should be getting some chicks. These chicks are gonna end up being egg layers. Our egg layers we have had for a couple of years now and they're slowing down in their egg production. So I'm so excited to be getting these little chicks. I'm going to try to make a whole separate video about that, but I can't wait to get these little baby chicks. So be sure to look out for that video. When an animal gives birth, it's the most precious and wholesome thing ever. As you're assisting the mother with birth, you get to be one of the first to welcome a new little life into the world. And there's no feeling like saying hi to that little life for the first time. It's a sweet and sometimes emotional experience that not many people get to see. I feel so blessed to be able to have this life and welcome new life into the world regularly. And God has given me the opportunity to share these experiences with you guys through this channel. And I want you to be a part of it. My goal is to bring you guys along this spring as new babies are born. Maybe you'll even be able to help me name them. I don't want you guys to miss this, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can follow the journey. Those are all of the animals that are going to give birth this spring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of the animals that are born this spring. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.